Use of super keyword. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the keyword super. In Java, the keyword super is mainly used for two purposes. One, to access superclass variables and methods in subclass. Two, to call a superclass constructor in the subclass. Let us discuss them one by one. The first one is. To access superclass variables and methods in subclass, class A is the superclass that has two integer variables a and b. Class B is the subclass that also contains two integer variables a and b. Then we can access the class A, that is, superclass variables a and b, inside the subclass class B, just by using these commands. Super dot a semicolon, super dot b semicolon. Here, super is the keyword, and a and b are variables. Let us see the general form. Super dot member semicolon. Here, super is a keyword used to call superclass variables or a methods. Member can be either an instant variable or a method. Let us discuss the next purpose of the keyword super. To call superclass constructor in the subclass, consider class A is the superclass that has constructors A. Then class B is the subclass that also contains its own constructor B. We can access the superclass or class A constructor inside the subclass class B just by using this command. Here, super is the keyword without parameters. Here is the general form. Here, the keyword super is used to denote superclass. Parameter list is the list of parameters required by the constructor in the superclass. If we want to call the default constructor, then we have to pass by empty parameter list. Let us see an example which illustrates the use of the keyword super to call the variables a constructor of superclass. Here in this program, class A contains method show one, which is going to print value of B in class A. Then class B extends class A. It contains constructor with two integer parameters. The keyword super is assigned to variable B. So that it automatically gets a value of class A, and it is assigned to variable Q. Inside the method show one, we are printing the value of B using the keyword super and the value of current class A. Next, the class AA contains constructor with three integer parameters. Then class BB extends class AA, which contains constructor with four integer parameters. The keyword super is assigned to constructor, so that it automatically calls the constructor of class A A. Using the method show two, we are performing addition of parameter values. In the class w underscore super inside main method, we are creating object B and B B for class B and B B. In the class constructor of B. We are passing integer value one and seven, and calling method show one using object B. Similarly, in the class constructor of B B, we are passing values two, three, four, and five to call method show two using object B B. Compile and run the program to get the output. This is the output of our program. Here, the value of superclass variable B. Is seven, and the value of subclass variable A is one. Then the addition of A, B, C, and D is fourteen. So far, we've discussed about the use of the keyword super. I hope now you are thorough with accessing superclass variables and superclass constructor using the keyword super.